Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Small Steps by Sereger. Difficulty, normal, 4 out of 10. Uh, that's actually called medium, I'll have you know. <laughs> Probably one of the easiest chambers I've made, because it's actually not a laser puzzle this time, even though it contains a few lasers. I used a technique that I haven't seen in other maps, but I included in a part in the puzzle... Sorry, I included a part in the puzzle where you can observe how it works and how it can be used, so it shouldn't be a problem. Have fun solving the test, and good luck! As always, feedback is welcome and appreciated. Update! Hidden optional companion cube somewhere. Good luck finding it. Alright, well... This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. All right. This is an interesting contraption. Is this How is How are these both How do these both exist at the same time? Is it really this door is it even possible to... Huh. Yeah, because this is one, two, three, versus four units everywhere else. So either this is slightly... Either this light strip is on a different grid layout, or this door is on a different grid layout. I don't understand what's going on there. Maybe that's not the exit. I'm going to assume that's not the exit, because that's confusing me. I haven't used B mod, in case you haven't... In case you can't tell. I still have not figured out all the things B-Mod can do. What is this? Strange. What? What is happening? What is going on? Uh... I am rather confused. Whee! Oh, hello! What are you doing here, good sir? I'll have you know I would like you to point at that wall, please. Thank you. Good- have a good day. Alright, then we can do... That's not portalable. I don't think that's right. What am I supposed to be doing? Not entirely clear on the concept. Am I supposed to, like, find a weird angle into there? And what is up with this? That's X. Oh, that's gonna drop a bunch of bounce gel, isn't it? That's a dot. Okay, we need to go in an X and dot hunt. What's up here? Well, there's square. Which is... Oh, there's X! Okay. But where's Dot? This isn't Dot. This isn't Dot. That's... that's also Square? What was Square again? This doesn't even have any signage! This just has no signage on it! Square was this, right? Yeah, so we gotta find a way to get up there. But there's no floor portal surfaces, so how are we supposed to do that? Oh, is there something else up here that I missed? Nope, it is literally just a button with no signage under a dropper with no signage. Well, I'm already more confused than in the map that I live-streamed on Sunday. Ah, uh, What is this? And why can I portal through it? Oh, that's the exit! What? Is there- is this a conversion gel puzzle where I haven't found the conversion gel yet?
Uh... Yep, that's square. That's the exit. There's nothing much up here. Let's try that. Eh, come on. I suppose that's... That's something, right? <laughs> Not really, though. That'll never hit. Oh, there we go! I just had to have the right angle, okay. Oh. I see. Well, I'm gonna save here for sure. Of course I'm gonna save there. I think I'm crazy? Alright, so now we do that and that. And now, it's just an execution-based puzzle. Whee! It'll take a few tries, of course. Because it's execution-based. Need to place a bit higher, it seems. There we go! That's how you do it. That's permanent, right? Yes, perfect. Square has been permanented. Right, so now we do this. Ah! Yeah! There we go, hang on, let's just- let's just... SV... Player... Laser, there we go. SV player collide with laser zero. Alright, so, I don't think we need the laser anymore, so let's just take the cube. And let's try putting the cube on the button with no signage and see what that does. Weighted cubes calibrated. It opens the door with no signage, because of course it does. And there's a button with no signage. And a return path with no signage? Apparently that's permanent. Oh no it's not, it just doesn't make a ticking sound because there's no signage. Oh really? Come on, let me through here please, thank you. Alright, let's save. And. We. A cube, huh? What? This is such a sprawling map, what is going on? What does the button with no signage do? Hang on, I want to figure this out. What does the button with no signage do? You know what, I bet it's just anti-trapping and opens the door. And that's why we hear lasers, because it's just a, uh, a gate. An OR gate or an AND gate or something. Okay, what turns off this fizzler, though? How do I do anything in here? <laughs> no, really, what- what controls that?
Real quick, I just want to test this. Yes, that is exactly what it does. Okay. Good to know. Nope, that's still on. Who knows? If I did get up there and block the laser... It would only be blocked for a second or two. Am I missing something? Is there... Is there something in the ceiling area here? No. There's literally nothing here. Why am I even... what... what is... Huh? What turns off this fizzler? And why is... why is this shaped like this? There's no way I can get gel in here. Even if I could, I wouldn't want to. Yeah, there's literally... I don't see how to proceed. How... What? I don't... I don't... This isn't Talos, I can't block the laser with my body. And like, even if I put a portal here and recalled the cube, that still wouldn't help. These aren't linked, right? That would be... dumb if they were. Nope, they're not linked. What about Dot? Did I ever find Dot? I don't think I found Dot, did I? Yeah, have not found Dot yet. Is Dot... this thing? That is Dot, okay. I don't understand what to do here. This is- this is not making sense. The only way to turn this off, is to block that, and the only way to block that is to turn that off. It seems literally impossible to me. I don't see how this can be done. There is no signage on this fizzler. This fizzler just does not have signage. Therefore, it is literally impossible to turn it off. Yeah, that's- that's... that's it. There's nothing I can do. That's 
probably the OCC or something, I don't know. Some outside logic. Yeah, there's... There's nothing I can do. More outside logic. What... what turns... what turns off this fizzler? There's no signage! Updated May 14. Knock played sometime after that? I'm gonna look at Knock's playthrough, cause, uh, otherwise I don't know what to do. Uh... Is this gonna load, or what is going on here? For some reason, middle clicking opens in a new window, and right click opening a new tab actually opens in a new tab. What is going on, Steam? I have an internet connection. Oh, and of course I get an advertisement. <laughs> Normally I have YouTube Red. As you can see up here, YouTube Red, supposedly. But it doesn't work, for some reason, in Steam. Okay, let's see, how does Knock go about doing this? Right, he hasn't gotten the gel yet. Okay, now he's done that. Okay, let's see- let's see how Knock handles this situation. Cuz I am totally stumped. Actually, this is from May 12th. Hang on, this is- this is from May 12th. Right? May 12th. The map was updated May 14th, so it's entirely possible that I'm playing a different version from Knock. That's what I'm worried about. Also, has- is it just me, or...? Why is it playing 720p? That- that's not the, the resolution I want. Come on. Come on. Come on. What does Knock do? Yeah, I know I can do that. That is something I'm aware of. Is there- is there a Fizzler thing blocking him? Oh, Ghost Helper! You know, I didn't even think of that! Okay, that's the hint I needed. Thank you, Nock. So... Yeah, Ghost Helper. Completely was not even considering that. Which cube do we want to use? Uh... Doesn't matter. There we go. All right. Now what? Yeah, now what? <laughs> Ghost do we need to go stuff for this as well? in the way. That didn't work, right? Too high. How am I supposed to do anything about that? I need to shoot a portal in that tiny time window there? That was too... too low. Oh my goodness.
Really? Is this what this map has devolved into? Ugh. There we go. Right, now what? Now what? Oh, I placed the wrong portal. Okay, redo. <laughs> let's let's pretend I didn't place the wrong portal, please. I I mean I can load a quick save, but I don't think I quick saved appropriately. So I need to actually place the black portal up there. Now let's see here. I need to have the green one like this. Because I didn't actually need this cube in here at all. I don't think. Yeah, this cube can stay downstairs for all I care. Uh... Well, whatever. Okay. And I placed the wrong portal again, because of course I did. I mean, it's a clever puzzle, but again, the problem is how tedious it is. OW MY EARS! Holy crap! Why is it so loud? There. I have no idea why it was so loud. Uh... That's a- that's a bug report for Team Spin. There we go, finally. Now let's head downstairs and get out of here. So yeah, like I said, the, the puzzle's okay, but the map design is... very strange? Like, what's the point of these- this double up-hop thing? And then also the tediousness of that was a bit annoying. And the execution-based parts I'm not a fan of. But other than that, it's okay, I suppose. Honestly, I think this is actually harder than the 6 out of 10 puzzle from Sunday. Right, now how do we get up there? How do we get up there now? Recall the regular cube, right? But I still don't understand how to get up there. Some speedrunning trick where you can like gain height, but I can't do it. <laughs> uh there's no way to get the gel into here, as far as I know. So how do you get up there? And that's not even at the right height.
Like, even if I were to hold left, I wouldn't make it there. I'm confused. Yeah, that, that doesn't help. That's not helpful. <laughs> That's not helpful either. What was I standing on there? I swear I was standing on nothing, but... Like, that could work, maybe? If I try it from there instead? That's clever, but... Also very execution-based. Oh, and I have to crouch, too? Alright. Right, well, I have to crouch after the fact. So that I can bounce on the gel. And it's also execution based. And I placed the wrong portal, because of course I did. Let's just do this like this, shall we? Oh, come on! How did I do that so easily the first time? And I hit the wrong key, of course. And I hit my head on it. That would've worked. If I hadn't hit my head on the portal, so I gotta shoot my portal a bit higher. And... yes! There we go. Alright, well. That, personally, was way too execution-based for me. So... As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!